And so you see that change in soil structure. This is some research, Dan Olson in Wisconsin. You can see the comparison of a six-year organic and a six-year conventional agriculture using glyphosate and genetically engineered crops. This is after just an in inch of rain. You shouldn't have ever seen that. Should have gone right in the soil. You can't get it in because those organisms that are responsible for soil aggregation and giving you the pores in the soil have all been killed by your glyphosate. The soil run together. You can't get water into it efficiently. And you see it starting to run off the surface. We're getting run off even in no-till with all of that residue on the surface because of that change in biology. You can't kill a plant with glyphosate in sterile soil. Many, many papers have documented this. When you have a weed that's resistant to glyphosate, it's not resistant to the chemical, it's resistant to the fungi. So that if you have a field soil, you have all of those pathogens that are present and a lot of saprophytes that will readily invade that plant when you put the glyphosate on and give it a bad case of AIDS by shutting down that defense mechanism that comes through the shikimate pathway. We, I serve on the Threat Pathogens Committee. I've been there for 40 years. We have over 40 diseases that we're now calling re-emerging diseases because our old controls for managing these diseases no longer work. They're getting out of control for us because we've removed the natural biological control and we've forgotten that we're managing an ecology rather than just shooting silver bullets. 